How to add emotions and feelings in 11 Labs voiceover. So let me go ahead and show you. Let's create one, come to voices, and I will use my own voice, which I have cloned. So this is an example text prompt like this. What? No way. I will show him. So I want it to be excited. The Let's do surprised for the first part and then angry for the second part. So let me go ahead and show you what it did before I tweak it, right? You want to keep this as about none. Let's generate this. What? No way I will show him. That sounds really monotone, honestly. So what you want to do is this, okay? You want to come here and use these arrow keys and put your emotion inside them, right? For example, surprised. What? No way. And then angrily, I will show him like this, right? And you want to come here, style exaggeration, make it about 80% if you're using shorter text. And if you are using a longer text, keep it about 50%. If it's a long, you know, text, you can do up to 5,000 characters. Mine is only 56. So I can afford to go ahead and do it 80% without it distorting anything. Now let's regenerate this and see how it sounds like. What? No way. I will show him. That sounds much better than the first one. It was monotone. So you can go ahead and experiment with this. So you need to put emotions inside these uh, arrow keys. And then you can put these things like, uh, you know, dots, full stops, and exclamation marks, question marks. That will emphasize certain things and styles. But otherwise, it's really that easy and simple. We can go and experiment with it. It is way better than it sounding monotone.